Hello. How are you? Fine, thank you. I have to say, congratulations on winning the national <laughs> final. Um, how has life been since then? Uh, a lot of work, a little bit of stress, um, but um, changes. Uh, but now we are we are focused. We are um, um, very uh, sure about ev everything we we are doing. <laughs> Yeah, so for the viewers that don't uh, know who you are quite yet, can you just uh, tell us a little bit about yourself and how you started singing and what's led you to doing Eurovision again? Um, my family, uh, our musician family, I come from an uh, uh, artist family. My mother was a, a very a famous singer from Moldova. Um, my father was a musician also. Even my grandparents uh, uh, were singing in the um, church choir. Uh, I studied violin since I was a little. Um, I uh, I sing like all my life. I started singing uh, even when I uh, couldn't even talk. So <laughs> it's like it's like that. It's my it's my mission on this earth. I think to sing and to to give um, uh, music around the around the world. Um, in two thousand seven, I participated uh, in uh, at Eurovision contest in Finland with song fight, a little bit different song. Uh, it's a pop rock song. I qualified uh, that year. I was qualified that uh, qualified there that year and I uh, I took a uh, tenth place. So it was OK. And this year, here I am again. <laughs> um, now, your song this year is called In the Middle. Can you tell us a little bit about the song and what was the inspiration behind it? What is the song all about? First, uh, first of all, I, when I uh, wrote this song, I, um, I didn't think uh, about Eurovision at all. I just, uh, it came in, in like five minutes. It's uh, very, uh, very easy. Um, I, uh, in that moment, I was connected with my uh, family, my children, my, myself, my, uh, my soul. So this song uh, is more about love, peace, um to not be afraid to be yourself because you are beautiful exactly like you are uh about all of us about beautiful souls because we are beautiful souls uh some of us forgot about that but um it's like a reminder to not be afraid to live in peace in love uh in unity and to connect with the uh the best version of ourselves oh, it's a great message um uh, for the people that don't know we just mentioned it there that you did compete at Eurovision before in 2007 what do you think will be the biggest difference in competing then to competing now it's like 17 years later what is the biggest difference oh, it's really a big difference believe me it's like uh, different times different world everything is different right now technology is uh, really high mm -hmm. um we are different because the time moves really fast. We feel different. The people are different. Um, I am different. I I feel more um, uh, things around me. I uh, I'm connected more with myself, with what I'm doing, with my voice, uh, with the uh, people around me. So uh, it's a lot, a lot of differences. Yeah. <laughs> um. What was your initial reaction when you won the national final and you realized I'm going to Eurovision again what was the reaction actually I didn't have uh, any expectation at all at all so it was uh, I, in my heart I felt that I will go you know when you you know that it will happen but uh, with your brain you said it's okay if I'm not going it's like I, I'm okay with any um, decisions, but when I find out what I, that I will participate, it was uh, um, a big emotions uh, you can describe. But when I realized that I'm really going there, it was a little bit scary. <laughs> you know, you're happy and a little bit scared. 
uh, but now I'm uh, I'm really relaxed. You know, I'm in the middle. I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the one thing I do love about your performance is the involvement of the violins during the performance. Are we now? Obviously, do not reveal anything that you shouldn't. <laughs> but um, are you allowed? Or are you going to be having the violins in Malmo on stage, or are we getting something different? What can you reveal about your staging in? Uh, yes, yes, it will be different. Um, <laughs> all be all be different because uh, the stage there is huge. Mm -hmm. uh, it's unique and a beautiful stage. They uh, build this uh, stage especially for uh, for this year in um, in Malmo. So uh, it in that uh, on that stage, it's really important uh, the background. Mm -hmm. What do you have around you? So. Uh, this year will be uh, me. I'll be by myself on the stage and my violin, of course. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, this story around me, uh, which will be really impressive, believe me. I can't wait to see it. Um, what part of the Eurovision experience, because of course you've done it before, you know what to maybe expect, but um, what are you most looking forward to this year? Oh, there there is moments that um, you can find just there at your vision contest uh, all these people all these uh, uh, concerts parties uh, connection with a lot of journalists uh, um, it's like a, you know celebration so that's I expect this is a celebration and uh, connection with a lot, a lot of beautiful, beautiful people, interesting people. What artists do you, like when you started out in music, what artists inspired you? Who, who, who do you look up to when you look at your career? Who, who do you, who inspired you? It, I don't even, uh, I don't need to think about too much to say. Uh, I, um, I listened all my from uh, from my childhood. Uh, Whitney Houston. No, I'm just Whitney's. Just for me, like the the big voice, the biggest voice, uh, and the legend. So I've um, and beauty of this artist. All oh, this, it's amazing. So Whitney is my uh, inspiration, my uh, voice, my legend. My <laughs> no, I'm surprised. No one has actually said Whitney yet to me so that is a surprise you're the first person to say Whitney I always love asking this question because I love all the different answers that I get from all the Eurovision artists if you could only sing one song for the rest of your life what song would you choose to sing it doesn't have to be one of your own it could be any in the world it's a hard Ooh, question that's hard really hard very difficult you can choose more than one. Everyone ends up saying like... Okay, I will choose this song in the middle, first of all, <laughs> because I really feel connected with this one. But I'll choose another one from Whitney. It's uh, <laughs> I Will Always Love You, of course. This song is like... Uh, oh, <laughs> it's like from another world. What, what When you're on the Eurovision stage and you've just finished your performance, what message or emotion are you hoping to convey with that? and hoping that it spreads to the viewers and the audience in the arena. What emotion are you wanting them to feel at the end? Like, you are beautiful exactly like who you are. You are spiritual, beautiful beings who, uh, who came here to live in peace, in love, with no wars, no tears, in unity and love. So that's my message, simple and, uh, love it. Love and from it. my heart. Um, now, finally, what would it mean to you personally if people voted for your song and for Moldova and you done well? What would it mean to you? It means, uh, it, it will mean uh, a world to me. It's like a, a rise of my soul and my, <laughs> my, uh, my being. So I, it will mean a lot. Well, thank you so much for joining me for this little chat today. Uh, uh, thank thanks you. so much. And good luck in the semi-finals. And I hope to see Thank you there. Thank you very much. Yeah. <laughs> Are you going to any of the pre-parties? Uh, yes, we're going to um, these days to uh, Madrid, Spain. Uh, after that, London, Amsterdam. So I'll see you. We're, <laughs> we're having some, <laughs> some concerts, yes. Well, um, I hope to see you there. Good luck in the semi-finals. And thank you for joining me. Thank you so much.
Thank you very much for doing.